In this lesson, I will show you how to mate with one rook. It is a little bit more complicated than to mate with the queen or two rooks. It will require the help of your own king. And the first step would be uh, to cut off your, the enemy king. So please have a look at the position. You will simply have to play rook a5 first. Uh, white king will play king e4. And you will have to play king f7. You need to bring your king towards the action. White plays king d4, king e6, king e4, and here you simply give check rook a4. So white plays king e3. Here you could play king e5, but I think king d5 is the more precise move. If white plays king d3, then you simply give check and drive him even closer to the edge of the board. So white plays king f3. Then you simply chase his king by playing king e5, king g3, king f5, king h3, king g5. Now white has nothing better to do than to play king g3. So you give check, rook a3, and bring the white kings to the second rank. So king f2, king g4, because the king will run to the rook and it will try to chase you. So king g4, king e2, king f4, king d2, king e4, king c2, king d4, king b2. And here you simply need to make a waiting move. You have to bring your rook to the other side of the board, rook h3. White plays king c2. Here you make another waiting move, rook g3. And now white has nothing better than to play king b2, because if white plays king d2, then you simply give rook g2 check and drive the white king to the first rank and to the edge of the board. So, king b2, king c4, king a2, king b4, king b2, rook g2 check, and now white plays king c1. So, you are using the same mechanism, you are chasing the white king, and now you are threatening uh, mate in one, so you played king c3. What to do? King d1. King d3, king e1, king e3, king f1. And now you are making the same waiting move. You are playing rook a2. So king e1 would be mate in one, rook a1. So white continues by playing king g1, king f3, king h1, king g3. And after king g1, rook a1, is mate.